What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at multiplying and dividing by 10, 100 and 1000. Let's begin. So what does it mean to multiply by 10, 100 and 1000 and why are we grouping this into one lesson? Well the reason we do that is because these are a special set of numbers that are actually quite easy to multiply and divide so therefore learning a little trick or a method to do this is going to be very very helpful. So what is that method? Well we're going to use the place value chart. I've got one here for us. We can see our ones, our tens, our hundreds and our thousands. We've actually got things below the decimal as well. This is our decimal line and then we have tenths one hundredths and one thousandths. So how can this help us? Well let's take our first question here, the 56 times 10. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our 56 into our place value chart, really focusing on the value of these digits. So in 56 I know that I have six ones, so I'll put my six in the ones column, and I know that I have five tens, so I'll put the five in the tens column. Now when I multiply it by 10, what I'm actually doing is making this number 10 times larger. So to show that, I can just move it one place up this place value chart. And by doing that, I'm making this number 10 times larger. Let me show you what I mean. If I move this 5 into this column, and I move the 6 into the tens column, then I end up with 5 hundreds, 6 tens, and although there's nothing in my ones right now, I would have to fill it with what we call a placeholder or a zero. And now my answer says 560, and 560 is 10 times larger than 56, that's quite easy to see. So my answer to 56 times 10 is 560. Okay, let's see if this can help us with our division question. So now I have 530, and I'm going to put that into my place value chart again. 530 has zero ones, three tens, and five hundreds. And this time I'm dividing it. And when we divide something, our number is obviously going to be getting smaller. So this time we're going to move down our place value chart or to the right. And if I'm dividing it by 10, what I'm actually doing to this number is making it 10 times smaller. So here we go. I'm just going to move them one place to the right this time. So now this zero will come into this column, into the tenths. The three will go into the ones column. The five will go into the tens column. And I'm nearly finished. The only thing I need to make sure I do is put my decimal in place because remember this line here represents our decimal place. So my answer is actually now into the decimals and I've got 53.0. Now anybody that understands number will understand that we actually now don't need to include this point zero in our answer. I can simply write 530 divided by 10 equals 53 because this zero doesn't change the value of my number at all. I could have a zero here, 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 all down my place value chart, and it's not going to change the value of my number. Okay, let's turn things up a little bit. Let's get an orange chili challenge. I'm looking at 23 times 100, and I'm going to put my 23 in place just like before, but this time I'm multiplying by 100. And when I do that, I now need to make our number 100 times larger than what it is. So to do that, I'm going to move it not just one place up our place value chart, but two places. And I can see that because I have one, two zeros in my 100. So to make it 100 times larger, here we go, let's move them one, two places. So my two moves one, two into the thousands column, and my three also moves one, two into my hundreds column. Now remember we've got some blank spaces here before my decimal, so now I need to fill them with placeholders or zeros, showing me that the answer to 23 times 100 equals 2,300, because 2,300 is 100 times larger than 23. Okay, so let's look at our division question, 453 divided by 100, but now I'm dividing, so remember I'm going to be going down the place value chart to the right. How many times am I going to go to the right? Well, I'm dividing by 100, I need to make it 100 times smaller, so I'm going to move it one, two places, which will make it 100 times smaller. So here we go, I move my three, one, two, I move my five, one, two, into the tenths column, and I move my four, one, two, landing in the ones column. Don't forget to put that decimal, that's super important. 453 divided by 100 leaves me with four, 
4.53 or 4 and 53 one hundredths. Let's get to that real spicy challenge. Here we go. 87 times 1,000. So same rule applies. I'm going to put my 87 in place, but now I'm multiplying by 1,000. So how many places am I going to move it to my left? Because remember, when we're multiplying, we move it to the left because we're getting bigger along our place value chart. Well, I'm going to look at my 1,000. I can see I've got one, two, three zeros. So therefore, I'm going to move it three places to my left, making it a thousand times bigger. So here we go. Eight moves one, two, three. I'm coming actually out of my place value chart that I've made, but that's okay because the place value chart can go on forever. And this column here represents ten thousands. Okay, so my eight lands in here. I'm, not, I'm going to do the same thing to my seven. One, two, three, and now I have these three gaps before my decimal that I now need to fill with placeholders. One, two, three. So my answer to 87 times 1,000 equals 87,000 and no decimals. Okay, let's do my last division question. Here we go. And this time I'm dividing, so I need to come down my place value chart because remember, division questions will end up with a smaller answer. I'm dividing by a thousand again, so I have one, two, three zeros to consider. So I'm going to move them three places down my place value chart. But I can see here that I can put my decimal in place and I have a couple of options. I can call this number 0.421 or I can put a zero here and call it 0 0.421. Exactly the same value, just a slightly different way of saying it. So I'm going to keep my zero and I'm going to say 421 divided by 1000 equals 0 0.421 or 0 0.421 thousandths. Okay, there you go. That is everything you need to know about multiplying and dividing by 10, 100, and 1000. But let's just look at what to remember. First, we should always make a place value chart, then write the numbers in the chart focusing on the value of each of the digits. Then move the numbers to the left if we're multiplying or to the right if we're dividing. And then we simply look at what we're multiplying and dividing by 10, 100, and 1000, see how many zeros are in that number, and then move the numbers that amount of times. Okay, so now it's your turn. Press pause on the video, have a go at answering these questions again for yourselves. If you need a little bit of help, you can go back and see how I did it in the video, but try and do it on your own. Put the answers in the comment section. So there we have it guys, hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in another video. Peace out.